I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips, Getting Organized Edition. In this second out of five episode series, I'm talking about ways to get organized. This episode is dedicated to organizing those files on your computer. Now, if you're using a normal computer in college or not even using it in a class, you're still going to have a lot of files to organize. You're going to have handouts and papers you download from your teacher. You might have projects that were computer-based. You're going to have papers that you write. But if you're using a tablet in class, you might even have more files than normal. And you can drown in files. And when you need to find one, it's good to know where they're at. The first thing I'm going to recommend is making a folder for every semester. You can see here, I have a folder for every one of my semesters. This way, I know I can find whatever file from that semester. Now, inside of each semester, make a folder for every class. You can call it by the, the class name and call number like I do, or you can name it whatever you want. You can name it the actual class name. It's just important to have it so you know where the files for that class are, and they're all in one place. Now, for some classes, it's best to even organize further. For example, classes that use Dino, you can make a Dino folder. And inside there, you can put all your files. Or if you're really organized, you can have a Dino folder, and inside there, have each unit. And also for most classes, if you're doing your homework on your computer, you can have a folder for all your homework. Some classes, you might be typing it. So it might just be a paper that you type. Other classes, you might use Maple or Solid Edge. Or if you're writing your notes, you might use Journal. So just having a folder for every Having a folder to keep things organized in makes it so you can quickly and reliably find those files that you need. Keeping them in a nested hierarchy really organizes your files so that you know where everything is. Having it so you have the semester, the class, and then probably subjectively a folder for whatever the class needs. If the class needs a project, make a folder for project. Like my programming classes I take, I typically have programming project one, programming project two. It really depends on your class, but consistently having that semester and then those classes, just that simple step, it doesn't take much time in forcing yourself to use it. Yeah, you can save it to the desktop, but move it to that folder. You'll know where it's at, and when you need to find those classes, those files for those classes, you will not regret the effort and time you put into keeping your files organized. It will really help out. As always, thanks for watching Tablet Tips. You can contact, on, contact us from our website, speedstug.com, and our email address, stug at speedstug.com. Thanks for watching.